Oh my god. Oh, oh my, my god. Wow, I'm all shinded. <laughs> wow. An escape simulator. Wait, you have a demo or the actual game? I'm confused. I have the demo. You didn't buy the game? No. Did you buy oh. the game? Yes. <laughs> uh, Whoops. I let us play together. Zeta, six, Ringo, Nordstrom, maybe. Yeah, that doesn't exist. Click on the whiny key. Oh my god. Rotate the box of my place, please. Whiny key. Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa. You died. It was a mimic. Now you're on your own. Use your wits to find a key oh. from the door and escape. Oh my god, everything in my inventory, go! This is, this seems foolish. Why are you letting me do this? Why are you <laughs> giving, letting, why are you giving me this much power? Oh my, wow, machine dead. <laughs> Just to the right what? of Italy. <laughs> Nothing's to the right of Italy. Italy would have <laughs> conquered it by now. Outside of America is Italy. Yeah, Italy, right here. And then to the right of Italy, here. North of Italy, west of Italy, south of Italy. My game is ready to go. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. Oh my god, you purple skin, you're from a vault. Oh, I can see shit hanging around your crotch. What? <laughs> fucking excuse me? Uh, so do I put the sphinx in here? <gasps> what? Do we have any water? I can spit on you. There's water right here. I thought it was sand. Hang on, there's like numbers on top here, isn't there? Oh and my god. An I don't think, Sean, I don't think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> Give us a hint, hint master. Oh my god, this is a uh, maze. Uh, lion. Where house. is this maze? What the fuck is this? Lion house square cactus. Oh, yes, okay. Did you get that from the, the maze that I just printed out? Or are you a weirdo? <laughs> You'll never know, and I'll never tell. No, I'm serious. How'd you figure that out? The maze. You started, I started at the in arrow. And I you traced a path maze? to the out arrow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you could see the maze that I received. No, the... Look down. It's right there. What? Oh my god, what? there's a maze down there! <laughs> Sean, I need your whore mouth to be shut. Maybe it's your purple skin that's causing you to be such a failure. We can keep talking about music. Alex is now recording an Odyssey for Escape Sim episode two. Let's keep talking about music. I do have Cold Cold Man on my playlist. Right between Best Friend from Foster the People and Something Good Can Work from Two Door Cinema Club. Mm, I do enjoy Two Door Cinema Club. Right? And I found a decent amount of like good mashups with their music that people have made as well. I have not even looked for them. I'll have to look. I'm a big mashup fan. Thinking about making some of my own. I write down every now and then when I hear two songs, or I'm like, man, this sounds just like that other song. I write it down. Mm -hmm. Someday, I'm going to make my own mashups. It's probably when I'm 60. <laughs> Which is like tomorrow, so. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> Today, you 31. Tomorrow, 60. <laughs> yeah. 31 to 60 with Jennifer Geiner. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like 31. And now I'm old. Oh. <laughs> and she dies. <laughs> the movie's over. And the movie's over. Roll credits. Classic cinema. Yeah. Tarantino does it again. Nicholas Sparks film. <laughs> oh yeah, Tarantino's the director. Nick's, Nicholas Sparks is the writer. Yeah. yeah. She, she dies, and as she dies, the camera zooms in on her feet. <laughs> like, ah, yes, that's right. He did direct this, didn't he? And then the camera, Jerry, you know, you son of a bitch. The camera slowly pans around the room, and, uh, <laughs> and Samuel L. Jackson is standing there, and he just, with a shocked look on his face, he goes, "Motherfucker!" And then roll credits. <laughs> Motherfucker. Does this garage say "Dead Garner Storage"? <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I am 31 going on 60. <laughs> That's how I remember it. Yeah. Meanwhile, like old man Herbert is hanging out. 
and she turns 16 he's like you know she's just my type and they she's like can you go out with me and then she dies and he's upset and then he unalives himself that's pretty much the whole film i think <laughs> so i think we're ready for an escape simulator now. yeah that's that's it <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great it's good <laughs> comment with your music uh bands that you like yeah you recommend check out recommend some music to me i'm I'm really, um, I'm, I'm going on a music kick recently. So, Sinead likes to play songs for me, and, and she's, like, big into, like, Screamo. I am not, but I understand. I'm, yeah, I'm generally not as well. But, like, that's not all she listens to, obviously. But there's, I don't know what it is. Like, something in my brain just turns off when somebody plays music for me like if i can't understand the word like the lyrics in a song if i can't yeah if if it just seems like there's too much noise from the instruments my my brain turns off and i don't even process if i like a song or not it's like i feel nothing about what you're playing for me right now and it's only over time that i start to yeah. like those things like a familiarity thing cuz there's there's a lot of songs that she listens to that I do that I do start to like over time, like the instrument's good or the you know the vocalist is good or whatever. I start to like yeah. them over time, and then it's like six months down the line after she stopped listening to that song that I start listening to it, and it's like we're always out of phase <laughs> with these yeah. with these things. And I'm like listening to the song on repeat, and she's like, "I listened to that song a year ago. What are you doing?" That's my Shanae impression. <laughs> I love it. I miss it. <laughs> tour, you are in so much trouble. <laughs> but I mean, no, I, I, I totally relate to what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I've discussed it with her, and it was like, I, under normal circumstances, not, not right now, under normal circumstances, I'll tell her, like, I apologize. You're going to play a song for me. You love this song. You love the hell out of this song. I am not going to be into it just because of how I process <laughs> these things. And then if you play it for, yeah. if you play it a lot while I'm around, then eventually the familiarity thing is going to kick in. Um, right. Or I just need to find this song on my own. Cause there's been times where I found songs that I liked from a band that she listens to and I play it for her, <laughs> like trying to share it with her. And she's like, I listen to this song three months ago and you hated it <laughs> i was like i was a different person then <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no but yeah part of it is like the experience of the discovery yeah so like I, like i okay yeah. I, I was just gonna say going forward like anybody that ever tries to play music for me i apologize if i don't experience what you want me to experience it's just not how I work. Although right now seems to be an exception. I'm finding new stuff. I'm listening. I'm being more thoughtful about the music that gets presented to me. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here, folks. Get it in now, quick. Uh, before before he changes his mind. <laughs> um, I don't know about you, but like, I get stuck. When people want to show me a song, I focus too much on trying to show the person that I'm enjoying listening to the song that, <laughs> that I don't listen to the song because usually it's like a song that's important to someone in some way shape or form and they think like oh man Alex is gonna love this song and then I'm way too focused on what they think I think about it to actually listen or enjoy anything yeah that can be very distracting. which is why like I like 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 you just recommended me some songs I put them on my watch later on YouTube, and then, like, when I'm in the right headspace to discover new music, then I go down my playlist, and I'm like, oh, all right, well, let's check out these tracks, and I can, you know, properly fall in love with them on my own, which I think is part of it. Because music is very, I mean, music's about expression, but, and there's nothing wrong with people sharing music and showing people songs, but there's also something special about listening to a song for the first time by yourself yeah yeah and just discovering for yourself what you what you really like about it 
with like unobserved especially because you don't have that you don't have that pressure of like oh i have to love this because you loved it which historically i'm not going to do i'm not going to love something just because somebody else loves something i can't i cannot do it (laughs) it's i don't have i respect i respect that about you um that's something I have trouble with it because I'm such a hardcore peeper, pe- peeper pleaser. <laughs> People pleaser. Uh, Sorry. Alex out here to please the peepers. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. Uh, but yeah. Because um, that's why, yeah, sometimes sometimes I hate, this is a side tangent, but like sometimes I hate when certain parties turn into uh, YouTube parties where people are like, check out this funny video. Because half the time... Like, whoever it is at this party that's putting on a video has a completely different sense of humor than me. Mm. And it just, like, ruins the vibe. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go find someone else in a different room to talk to. Bye. <laughs> like, I'm sure, like, maybe if I watch the video tomorrow when I'm not at a party, I might think it's funny. Yeah. But, like, there's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, I feel like that's a totally different headspace. Like, if I'm... So... Uh, I've experienced this in a number of situations recently, actually, where it's like, I, a hundred percent, I will probably find this video funny, but I'm trying yeah. to talk to somebody right now. <laughs> trying to have a, I'm trying to have this conversation. That's not what you're showing me. Bad time to show me a video. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Um, Agreed. Yeah. I don't totally know if it's agreed. an ADHD thing, but yeah, it's like, I agree that when you say headspace, like. 100 percent i have to be in the right headspace for things here i'm not gonna i'm not gonna really know if i enjoy it or not right and like yeah like whatever i tell you might be a temporary lie or i might tell you yeah yeah it's great and then i listen to it later i'm like yeah it is great but it's 50 50 chance (laughs) i didn't mean it then i I mean it it now yeah so i listened to it sober and it was pretty good still (laughs) So on that note, hey, we we played a game. Uh, we're going to play Escape Simulator. This is our second episode, yeah. our second foray into Escape Simulator. We played the first gonna... chamber in the Labyrinth of Egypt. Go ahead. That's, that's right. Oh, I was going to say, welcome to WMAP. We made a podcast. Because <laughs> we just talked uh, for ten minutes about various things. This is Yeah, just but total yes. tangents. We made a tangent. I'm excited. W M A T. Well, Uh, so I guess let's get into the Chamber of the Dead. This looks like the second map for Egypt. Before I dive too deep into the YouTube music rabbit hole. Yeah. But still. Where Barnes Courtney steals my soul. Oh man, there's some songs out there now that just like they just hit right. I don't know if it's the time. Or what? 100%. You know what always hits right? Balls? Smashing pumpkins. Um, I think... Ooh. I think one of my favorite songs from them that I can... That I can recall is, uh... I found a note that's blank. The end is the beginning is the end? I don't know if I've... Oh, wait, yes, I have heard that one. Is that Smashing Pumpkins? Uh, I don't know. I pinged. <laughs> you pinged. <laughs> you just like, pinged your pants. It's like, did you did you go? I went. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it was an accident. I don't remember how to throw things. What's in this jar? There's like you see that there's like a set of lungs in this jar. It's a canoptic jar. Oh, sure. and there's a. This oh, looks there's like a, a liver. And that looks like a lever, okay. Alright, so that's So there's a lever important. here. This is a number puzzle of some kind. Oh, this... Okay, so this is... Okay, I'm gonna try... There's a scarab puzzle over here, and I think I saw there were two puzzles. These people are holding puzzles of some kind. Okay, so before we get... So let's, let's try to communicate on the things that we have. Because that was an issue, I think, last time. Uh, I have a compass. I have a number of balls. I opened up the sky's tomb. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. This says it's a heart. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Sorry, I saw a puzzle and then I accidentally figured out how to do it. The so mazes that these guys are holding in their hands. I just did that down there on that little. Ah, uh, okay. Kind, sort of trial and error, but I got it to work. Well, that's probably fine. Um. I'm guessing these balls have to be like oh, balanced. Okay, the what way things? Oh yeah, how many are there? I have six, three red and three black. The red ones have okay. uh, like animal pictures on them. The black ones have uh, dashes like lines on them. The red one's way more. There must there must be a puzzle about the symbols on them and how you balance. Yeah, probably. Some kind of, yeah. Oh, we have a crowbar? Can do we? we? Yeah, I just found it on the floor. How do we throw okay. shit? Do you remember? Do You just hold left click. I do believe. Oh, oh wait. Can I, oh, I can crowbar these... Uh, this crate. There's stuff in this crate. Scrolls of some kind? Oh, I can open all of them. Hey, look at that. Move these. Oops! Was <laughs> 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 there anything important in there? That's fine. Oh, I see a token. Yo, snake, go sneak that shit. Okay, I don't think we can get to the third crate underneath, so I think that's all I picked we up can a, do with the crowbar. I picked up a butt plug. Be careful. Oh, it's telling us what Is to give this guy underneath him. You need to put that in this guy's red hand. And then in his left hand, he needs that other thing, see? The lung? I think it's this face piece. Nope. <laughs> yeah, the lung. I think That's it's a lung because there's like feathers in here around where the lungs would be in this t uh, tomb that you opened. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, that could be wrong. I don't know, but we can figure it out. Oh. What's up? This uh, bird head comes off. There's uh, guts. That's intestines. Oh, a shovel. Huh? There's another canoptic jar there. Oh, intestines, yeah. Okay. What does this note say? Interesting. Hair? It's blank. No, it isn't. I have stumbled upon these mummification what? jars. Mine was blank! No, you had to click on it to open it. It was folded. Oh my god. Kill As me. I. As I understand, they represent four sons of Horus. The lungs were guarded by Hopi, the baboon-headed god representing the north. The jackal-headed god representing the east, Duamatef, guarded the stomach. Imetsi, the human-headed god, represented the south, guarding the liver. And lastly, the intestines were guarded by Kebe, Kebesinuef, the falcon-headed god representing the west. Okay, so... This has to go right. onto the intestine jar, and that has to go oh. to the west, which I have a compass. It is in the west. The first one was the west, I believe. This one is the oh, north. Oh, I see. Okay. Hey, token. No, that's not a token. Fake out. Uh, lungs are north, stomach is east. Huh. Wait, there's something in this. Oh, that's a trash can. Okay. And liver. Wait, this note is saying something about. Liver south. The scales. It's a picture of the scales and scrolls turning into a key. Can you see the note I'm looking at? Yeah. So we have to weigh the scrolls? I have s seven scrolls. Do, can we read them? Or. 
wondering if they have any information on them. We could try weighing them. They have a... Uh... Oh! There's a key in one of the scrolls. That was weird. Well, there we go. I think that's to this chest then. However, I ping that. I don't remember how you ping. I keep doing it accidentally. Ah, money! Oh. A baboon! Where does the baboon go? Oh, uh... Whoops. I don't want the crowbar. <laughs> Bitch! Baboon is in the north, the lungs. Yeah, that one. It is done. It is okay. done. I've done it, jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Alright, so I, I clicked the wing button on this puzzle, because I'm assuming all these hidden symbols will be buttons on this puzzle over here. See Because he's got the gold wings in there. I'm, I'm yeah. going to assume there may be some other ones. Yeah, that could make sense. Oh, wait, are there... What are these ah! balls? Lion. Click the lion. Scarab. Oh, these different amounts of weight. Oh, I figured out what these scales are for. Okay, hear me out, right? Wait, wait, wait turn around. So, okay. I open this up. Oh, a human head. Where's that go? Uh, the human head is the liver, the south. This one over here. Okay. Oh, that one. Okay, and so what were you saying about the scales? So, so hear me out. So these these little black balls have numbers on them. Yes. So so this one is five. I think we need to weigh, find out how much each of the red things weigh, and then that symbol, like how much the snake weighs, that number, goes in this puzzle over here. Uh, oh. Like this, this, like this black ball is two, one of them is one, and one of them is five. We need to find out how much each red ball weighs individually. Okay. Let's do that. Saying. So wavy, is wavy. Wavy is oh, one shit. of them. So we need to balance. So wavy. That's too heavy. Okay, so five is too much. Wavy weighs two. Two. So we'll put two. Uh, owl. Owl is. Owl is six. Six. And then snake. snake. Severus Snake. Dumbledore. Four? Uh, wait, what? That makes sense, actually, from process of elimination. This is between three and five. Oh, hell yeah. Put that little pupperito on there. <laughs> All right, now what? The heckin' cute doggo. <laughs> I think we did it. Now we <laughs> ascend. I think. Uh, Dude, put God representing the east. Hang on. So no, because this should be north. Can we? What did we put in this guy's hand? Um, these mummifications, as I understand, they represent the four sons of Horus. The lungs were guarded by Hoppy, the baboon-headed god representing the north. Yeah. How do you see the direction? I have a compass. Alright. That looks to be the north. Okay. North. And then... The jackal-headed god representing the east. Jackal-headed god. Uh, that is the stomach. Does that look like a stomach? Where? In the jackal? Oh, no, hang on. That, I think that's the liver. I think liver. that's in the wrong place, yeah. I think these are swapped. Like, 
that. Hey! Oh, that's the thing for the here. Yeah. I got you your feather, broski. Oh, we, hell yeah. Dance party, dude. We did it. I am something of a professional dancer myself. We're getting better at this. You want to do one more? We missed five <laughs> tokens. Oh, in five there? tokens. Where? Fucking I really. Where? I really wasn't looking. I was when you were doing the last bit, and I only found one. Next oh my God. episode. The Egyptian turnabout. <laughs> oh no! Murder! I got a large pyramid, and within are three amber globs. It's <laughs> totally normal. Ah, perfect. Amber globs. A drawing of some things we need to put inside of a bowl. There's a radio. She's Three in cans a, of beans. Amber Amber Lobs Globs is in a trial against Johnny Depp, right? <laughs> yeah. That's all right. She doesn't Donna. seem to be doing very good, I think. She's yeah, she's not really good at her job of being a bad person. Or no, she is good at being at her job. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, I found a golden artifact. I'll throw that on the floor for now. I, I don't know where that goes. I also found a golden artifact. I'm just breaking vases all over the place with this giant pyramid I found. <laughs> Fuck you, vase. <gasps> I found a token. I also. Purpose. I found a token in a can of baked beans. If I had a nickel, <laughs> I'd have a token, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't. Oh, I f a pin. What does this pin go to? Oh, there's the amber globs. Okay. I'll just put that back. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Okay. Did you pull this lever already? Oh, wait. This one needs... Oh, wait. You pull that lever all the way down, okay? Okay. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. All right, let's give this guy our Oh, uh, sweet, a gold. disc of lava, I guess? What? <laughs> Feed him the golden artifacts. Oh, yeah, we need to feed him. Here, look at this note. There's five of them. He loves gold. How do I do I that? I think again? we fed him the goblet and the onk, but there are still three animal uh, ones. I'll put it on the ground three other ones we need to feed to him. Oh, okay. Wait, where do these... Oh, we have three of the pyramids. Where do these three pyramids one. go? Oh, did you pull this one down to the second line? Oh, it's about how many globs are in them. So the largest three... Medium has... Eight. And the small has... Seven? So let's see, three... Eight, seven. Hey, golden artifact. Here what you did go. you just do? I was not paying attention at all. Why aren't you eating the artifact? Eat Great. it. Take it. And <laughs> why are you the magic boy? There's this. You have to hold it like above, above the the bowl. Oh, okay. Sorry. I I look. I looked at these pyramids. And counting how many globs were inside, and that was the code to that puzzle. Oh, I don't even remember what that puzzle was. It had three different sized. It was three different sized pyramids, and then you just picked the number. Okay. So oh. let me know if you find anything involving triangles, squares, and circles. Well, this chest seems to have certain things highlighted. Not highlighted, but, you know, circled. Oh, yeah. Tent, bird. Okay, okay. Also, this puzzle uh, is only triangles, squares, and circles. Tent, bird. Uh, cup, lion, or uh, bowl, lion. Foot, bird. Bowl, lion. And then what? Foot, oh, bird. Foot, bird. <laughs> Classic foot, bird. <laughs> like that. You seem to be doing much. I'm a pro. 
Jimmy! Sorry. You seem to be doing much better this time around. <laughs> I'm focused. I'm hyper-focused. Perfect. Did we it's use the there. radio yet? I don't think so. Yeah, turn it on. Uh, let's see, this is five, three, three, two. Wait, how did you do that? Uh, so this chest contained a number of gems. Ah. Okay. And the gems, uh, the number of gems corresponded to this puzzle. Oh, oh that my radio God. was so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it on and heard static. It's great. Oh, I bet there's a <laughs> token with the radio. Did we just... Oh, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, we Check fucked this up in like three minutes. Yeah, holy shit. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow, that was not easy to figure out. Which one? Fuck you, fuck you, radio. The radio. I was like turning the dial. I was like, why would I move? I was turning the dial the wrong direction like a fucking clod. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I did figure it out. There was a token in there. You're right. Oh, here's one. Up there. I think I... I had a spoon. I think I just dropped it in the lava and it... It's just gone now. <laughs> uh, No, it's under it. Oh, wait. You can't pick it up. It's sitting there. I just can't pick it up. See it? Hmm. Huh, I see it on my screen. There's a token in his hand. <laughs> of course. But of course. Yeah. Uh, suck on my dick. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Oh, right in here. Oh, very nice. We are professional. This is. <laughs> Oh, there's one on the back of this chest. Oh, we're, shit. We're a professional escape simulator <laughs> channel now. <laughs> oh, no. What are we going to do about multiverses? Oh, here's one. We're just going to have to split it. All right. Well, we found them all. Time we're, really, tire, I guess, yeah. we're really cruising. Do we go to the next one? Yeah, I want to keep going. Bitch, I don't have a job. Why did the first one seem so much more difficult? Maybe we just weren't used to it? I also think we were completely not working together at all. <laughs> well, that's true. Which did not help. Alright, at first glance, fuck all of this. Oh my god, there's so much money over there in the rubble. I found a token. In the rubble. So I picked up a pickaxe and I bashed a hole in this wall and there's a token immediately inside of that. <laughs> So what you're saying is bash a hole in everything. Everything that uh -oh. you could bash a hole in, yeah. Makes sense. Everything fit to bash a hole in. Wait, I want the ball. That's my ball. Like Rolf. That's my horse. What? Oh. Yep, what's up? Sorry, now there's a puzzle over here. Man. Well, I just saw a scarab go into a hidey hole. Man, dog, hawk head. Man, dog, hawk head. Hey, I finished a puzzle. Way to go, you. Also, there's a scarab oh, that had a scarab. token on him. Oh, that's what he had, okay. The story of the unlucky camel. Left. Camel drinks in the oasis at sun's zenith, while the scorpion hides in the pyramid. Up. Camel sleeps by the pyramid when the sun sets and the scorpion lurks in the oasis. Right. Camel is bitten by the scorpion at the sand dunes when the sun rises. Okay, In case you were over. curious. <laughs> oh, do you uh, have a thing for that? 
Yeah, this puzzle has a camel in the middle. All right, so the left. Oh, it's your birthday! Happy birthday, Alex! Thank you. It's officially it's twelve oh one on Alex's birthday, and hey. I think I think we need to acknowledge that. Anybody that's watching, comment "Happy Birthday, Alex" in the comments, Aww. or else that's I will sweet. hunt you down and murder you. He'll do it. <laughs> All right. So the left arrow is saying camel drinks in the oasis at sun's zenith while the scorpion hides in the pyramid. Oh, at the sun's zenith? Okay, done. Zenith, yeah. The up oh. says... Hmm? Oh, wait, the oasis. Okay, sorry. Yep, okay. So camel goes over there. Then I need the scorpion to go in the pyramid. Okay, so... Wait, what's the sun's zenith? I think... Oh, okay. I think okay, zenith the is oasis. this one over here. How do you ping? That's as far as it goes. Okay. I'm only getting it to fill up twice for some reason. Um, yeah, so when it's pointed to the left, right? Sun's zenith... Here. Can you take a look at this document with me? Uh, yeah. Camel so, drops in the oasis. Sun's yeah. Zenith. When the scorpion hides in the pyramid. So that's pointed Camel to the left. The yeah. When the sun oh, rises. So it, only, so it should only have... Okay, so... No, I think you're right, yeah. So, that so that's the zenith pointing left, and then up and then camel scorpion. Sleep. Up is camel sleep by the pyramid when the sun sets and the scorpion lurks in the oasis. Okay, and then the last one is camel is bitten by the scorpion at the sand dunes when the sun rises. So they both need to be over here, I guess. Yeah, we got a ball. Hell yeah. Woo. All right, we got three glowing balls. Do you have Square. a solution for this puzzle? <laughs> nope. I'm okay. just looking at the symbols at the top and crying inwardly. <laughs> I don't understand how that works. Um, I have an idea. Token found again. Okay. Which one? The bug? I don't know. I, it was. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask questions. Um. House hill lion, squiggling. House. Yeah, I don't understand because there's Foot four square house things, bug. so I don't understand. Uh, they're all square shaped. I am a god. There we go. What's up? <laughs> so they they Is point it... to different dials. Yeah. Up is probably not the right response for it though. <laughs> for for each one. That's what I was thinking. Oh, it has something to do with the direction. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, house. I'm guessing this one is house. Because there's an up that has a house. Lion foot. I think house is the only one that's on that side. That one is also house. Oh, is that is each one of those one of the different dials? Like from above? You know what I'm saying? 
Mm. Like the square in the center is the pyramid from above. So like that's each one side of the pyramid. We have to pick the missing side in each of the diagrams. Uh, yeah, that that sounds like it Maybe. could be a good reason, a good like, solution. So, yeah. Let's see. One of them. One of them has a square and a feather. Not that one. This one has a square a feather. Oh, hill. Hill. Okay, so this, this one, one should be hill. this symbol. The left one? Yeah. That's that one. The first one should be correct. The second one has squiggle hill. Okay, so this one's owl. This one has owl, lion, tent. Which is this one. So that's feather, and then... Hey! Hey! Oh, you took it. I have so many balls. <laughs> Indiana Jones, are you jealous yet? Hell yeah. I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh... Okay, so I guess... Oh, I see. We need all the scarabs to be happy. How do we know if they're happy? Vincent, uh, we happy? We happy? <laughs> yeah, we happy. Uh, this might also be wait, incorrect. Wait! Uh, How was that? I had it, I think. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay. No, that look, that's, it has to be that way, because... They, that only lines up one way. However you turn it, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> um... Like that. Oh, come on. That's it. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. 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 Oh no, this one isn't lined up at all. Well... No, what are you doing? I'm fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm just, I'm a straight shooter. I'm going to tell you how it is. <laughs> I'm such a piece of shit. Yay! <gasps> we did it. Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Ladder? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey. Oh. Time We're to find the tokens. Rail. Oh, we only have three out of eight. Oh, my God. Yeah, we didn't do... We didn't pay a whole lot of attention to them in the in this one, oh, which I mean, really, I blame you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. I mean, it is your I birthday. Yeah, I'm and you know what that means. A little bit. It's yeah. your. <laughs> it's all your fault. Because it's 60 your birthday. Now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 31 going on 60. I have 31 going on dead. <laughs> oh, there's one. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was really tucked in there. <laughs> kind of surprised that was uh, even an option. Very sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. You're so sneaky. I do not see anymore. <laughs> oh my god, there's still four more. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, lantern? I checked that. There aren't any on the hat. I was really hoping there was one on the hat. How about on the pelvis? 
I tried Pelvis. to put the hat on the scarab and it didn't work. <laughs> I'm very upset. But you know what? Fuck that scarab. There's one in the skull. Oh, nice. Got it. Oh my god, that made a horrible noise when I put that down. <laughs> Don't like that. Harry, did you put your name in the goblet of gold? Harry, did you put your name into the Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, thank you for being honest. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else, fam. <laughs> That's all there is. They didn't put any more in. Those sons of bitches. They lied. Liars. Make my lies grow. <laughs> Rita Repulsa, you're out of control. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, there's one at the back of this compartment. Hey. Look at that donk. What? <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hey. Just checking out the birthday boy's donk. Always. I see, <laughs> see how it is. Yeah, anytime you're not looking. Checking out that dump. That might have to be it for now. I don't... Listen, if I see a dump truck, I gotta look. Yeah, just like my three-year-old. <laughs> gotta look at the dump truck. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. N no, that can't be it. It could, though, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Like, consider this. But have you considered? Have uh, you considered I've looked everywhere and I can't find any? Well, you think you've looked everywhere. But did you have a pickaxe? No, do you have a pickaxe? I have a pickaxe! Oh my god, you fucking pickaxe, dude! You didn't tell me, Jesus Christ! I had a pickaxe at the very beginning of this level. I broke Pick open this oh hole right here at the bottom. That's where oh I found god. the first Pick token. Oh my god. Pick this over here. Uh, however you ping, yeah. Give me a little chunk out of it. Dude, give me the pick. Give it to me. Hand over the weaponry. I mean, you're welcome to try. I'm gonna. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there are any more. They See? ran out of tokens in this level. Yeah, we figured it out. It's all bullshit. We've solved your puzzle, witch. Now release <laughs> us. <laughs> From our torment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that was very successful. Uh, we played a game. Playing Escape that was Simulator. Fun. It was a, good, a very time. good time. We were very focused. I hope it's an okay episode. If not, comment. I think with the t with the ten minutes below. of podcast at the beginning, it'll be an excellent, <laughs> yeah. excellent podcast. I mean, episode if we play the game. Also, I just want to point out your name is getting cut off, so you're just Melchior the Make. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> and you're chokehold Steve Austin so that's me that going for you. The, the, the wrestler famously known for his purple skin and bright green long hair uh yeah I think so <laughs> as far as I know anyway. alright <laughs> yeah, alright well thanks for watching everybody uh, next time we play a game bye bye How did you ping? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs>